Welcome to this Figma tutorial where we'll be designing an interactive search field. So in this video, we'll see how to design two variants of our search field, a default one and an a plot one. And then we'll use the prototype tool to connect those two variants. And our final result of interactive components will look like this. If we click over our search field, we see a drop-down list. If we click again, we back to its default state. All right, let's begin our tutorial. Before we jump into this tutorial, let me tell you about Master UI Plus. It's the ultimate Figma design system with over 200 interactive components. You can create amazing user interfaces in no time. Just drag and drop to get fully interactive components in your prototypes. And the best part, you can get 40% off if you click the link in the description. All right, let's get back to our tutorial. Let's start by creating a new design file and rename it to search field. Then let's go and pick the frame tool and let's draw a rectangle of 350 pixels by 56. All right, let's go here in the sidebar. Let's give it 350 by 56 of height. Next, let's go and give it 8 pixel of corner radius and also a drop shadow effect. Let's say in the Y 2 pixels and 7% of opacity. And also, let's give it a stroke of 1 pixel and a light gray color all right let's zoom in and rename this frame to search field now let's go to our resource button plugins and let's type in iconify hit run and with the iconify let's search for search icon and let's pick let's pick this one click and drag inside the frame let's align it to the left and center vertical and let's change its color to a light gray and then let's pick the text tool let's create our placeholder text so placeholder and then let's change its color to the same gray of our icon make sure it is centered vertically all right now select our search field and create component then let's create another variant and here let's make some space to our component frame and let's change the property name to state and the first state will be default and the second will be enabled and then let's go inside our variant let's go back now let's go back to our frame and let's create the drop down menu frame so once we click, we see this drop down menu. So let's give it eight pixels and a new effect, two pixel and 7% of opacity. And then let's pick, let's rename first search or feed drop down. Let's rename it to drop down. And let's go to the text tool and let's type in our search suggestion field, item one. And let's change font face to Roboto and bold and also increase its font size to 14 pixels. Let's hit Command C and Command V to duplicate and also duplicate a second time. All right, and this will be item two. And this will be item three. All right, let's select all those and let's give it a space between 24. All right, now let's select these two frames and let's create new components we name it to search field and also add a variant and in the property of our components let's rename property one to states and the first one will be the default state and the second one will be enabled state now let's hide the drop down menu of all first and 
add head resize to fit. Let's go align this. Well, all right. Now, in this second variant, let's first change the color of our stroke to a blue color. So it, it will look like active. And also, let's remove the placeholder text. All right. Now, let's select the self-read frame and go to prototypes. And let's connect the first variant with the second one. And let's leave it at on click and smart animate. So once we click in this first variant, we'll see this version. All right, now let's create new frame assets and drag our component inside the frame. Next, select the frame and hit the play button. Now, if we click, we see this version. And let's go to our prototype and let's add the state where the version one. When we click this, it will be back to the default. So let's go back and hit this, the second variant, and connect it back to the first variant. And let's see if it at on click and smart animate. Let's go back and here on click will be back all right click the menu will appear click again it will be back to its default state thanks for joining me for this tutorial you can find the download link to the exercise file of this tutorial in the description down below and if you are looking for more interactive components then you should check out master ui plus Everything you need will be at your fingertips when it comes to interactive components, and this will make your design process faster and more efficient. And one last thing, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.